like to say is what we have to understand is that through this series of, of, of um, Hebrew words that we have been speaking on, they are a way of warfare. They are our weapons of warfare. And we must understand that God gave us these uh, weapons of warfare, not for his sake, but for our sake. And I praise God today because sometimes you don't know what to say and sometimes you don't know what to do. But sometimes my word today is total. All you got to do is just lift your hands. You just got to extend your hands. And, and we're living in a day now that we need God. And you know, most of the time when we think of throwing our hands up, people think that we are uh, giving up but no good surrendering ourselves to God. Yeah. We are worshiping God. We are magnifying God. We are exalting God yeah. for that that He already done and that that we need Him to do. Yes, and this morning as I was going back over the, the, the word, my words and, and the Lord said unto me, the word is told up. And to tow to tow something is to lift it up. Yes. You cannot tow an object, a car, or anything, and don't pick it up. It has to be lifted up so it can be moved. Yes. So God will lift us up so we can be moved. Yes. Sometimes we wonder why God, why you doing this? Because I got to lift you up from where you are. And so, you know, we begin to lift our hands in adoration, in total. Yeah. We begin to lift our hands in Psalms 50 and 14 says to offer praise to God and to pay a vow unto the Most High. We make vows unto God and we must pay our vow. Lord, Sister Agnes, what it is about? I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continue to be in my mouth. Yeah. I am vowing to do something for God and it is to bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What we don't understand, it, it, God doesn't ask us for a whole lot. My God. All God asks us for is us. Yes. Yes. Now we ask for a whole lot. Amen. But all God asks for us, from us is up to tote out, mm -hmm. to lift our hands in, in acceptance, and, and to lift our hands in adoration to yes. Him. God, so many times as we stand up here, we'll say, lift your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. You're really going in warfare for yourself. Either for right now or for that is to come. Total is to give God praise in advance. As well as for the things that he's already done. Yes. Hallelujah. Psalms 50 and, and, and 23 said, Whosoever offereth praise, yes. Toda glorifies me and to him that ordereth his conversation aright. Will I show the salvation of the Lord? Yes. If you offer praise unto God, Hallelujah. his salvation will show up. Hallelujah. I preached a message not long ago. Salvation is not just opening our mouth right here at the altar and yes. saying, I accept the Lord. I believe that he died yes. and, and rose again on the third day. Yes, Lord, that's just the first step yes. of salvation. Hallelujah. But our salvation is a daily something with God. Yeah. It's either in our walk, it's either in our talk, it's in our action. Salvation has to work on our mind. My God. So we can told our God. Yeah. And we're in a time now and not only in greater love temple, but the enemy in with desires to take all of our weapons from us. My God. Come on he now. desires to take Come your on. yada. He desires yeah. to take your tehila. He desires to take your toda. Yeah. He desires Sister is what you mean. Hallelujah. We already have people that don't want to go to church anymore. So what they do, they stop going. I'm talking about the backsliders and the sinners now. But then, so he put the body of Christ under attack. Yeah, and the saints of God begin to get sick. They begin to get tired. Uh, they begin to go through things and that will keep them out of the house of God as well. The enemy is doing a salad warfare. Thank you, Holy God. A salad warfare. But we got to understand sometimes 
All we got to do is we got the Shabbat below. Yes. And then we just told out. We put all these things together. Shabbat is to give them a live yell. Yeah. Told out is to lift your hands up in adoration. Hallelujah. You know when somebody you haven't seen in a long time, you walk up to them just like this. Uh -huh. Hands up because you're glad to see them. Hallelujah, told God. Yes. Psalms 42 and 4 say, When I remember these things, I yes. pour out yes. my soul. Hallelujah. Told God. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just be sitting around and you begin to think of the thing oh, that the yes. Lord has brought you from. Because if I didn't, honey, I have remembered sometimes. I know God going in to see a forgiveness, but I remember where God brought me from. Because if he had to bought me from there, I never would be here today. I would probably be somewhere dead. But so you have to remember and you'll just throw your hands up. Toe God the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Psalms 56 and 12 say, Because my vows are up on, oh God, I will render praise unto thee. Hallelujah, God. God, I run the praise unto you. And I don't just wait till I'm in the house either. I can be walking down the street and say, oh God, I give you praise. Yes, I can be in my kitchen washing dishes and all of a sudden my hand, I begin to think about what the Lord has done for me. And my hand to go up a dishwater or go flying everywhere. I, I can be in the shower and I can begin to think about the Lord and I begin to tote out him. Uh -huh. I thank the Lord uh -huh, for what God is doing. Uh -huh, because because I can tote on anywhere. Uh -huh. I can lift my hands up uh -huh. and give God praise. Uh -huh. I can magnify Him uh, and give Him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jeremiah 17 to 26 said, People will come from Judah and from the villages of Jerusalem and everywhere. And, and, and I took it from the day people will come uh -huh, from all over the tri-state area. Uh -huh. People will come from the East Coast. Uh -huh. People will come from the West Coast. Uh -huh. People will come from the North and the South. Uh -huh. Where are they coming to? Uh -huh. The Bible said Jerusalem. Uh -huh. But I believe that we keep praising God in Greater Love Temple. Uh -huh. They're going to come from the North, South, East and West. Uh -huh. So why you told on God? Uh -huh. Please don't get weary in well doing. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh -huh. Sister Ades, how can you say that? Uh -huh. Because sometimes I get a little weary myself. Uh -huh. But I begin to think about the promises uh -huh. that God gave me uh -huh. and the vows I made unto Him. Uh -huh. Pray God my the Bible says uh, in Jeremiah 33, uh, he will cause you to be joyful. Uh, gladness to the voice of the bridegroom uh, and the voice of the bride. Uh, shall praise the Lord of hosts. Uh, for God is good and his mercy endure forever. Uh, you know on a wedding day, uh, the bride and the groom are supposed to be happy. Uh, everything is alright. Uh, they're looking forward to their future. Uh, well, God is the bride uh, and we are the bridegroom. Uh, and we are happy. Uh, so we're throwing our hands up. Uh, we're swinging our Holy Ghost high. Uh, 